college. Texans coach Steve Green and coach, I know every coach sits down at the beginning of the year and sets goals and sets this is what we want to do. And I know win the conference is kind of an obvious one, you know, win a championship. That's the easy ones. Talk about some of the goals early in the year that this team set that maybe it wouldn't be something normally people would think of and, and talk a little bit about where that started and where that's progressed now until going into the tournament. Well, it kind of, I mean, at the beginning of every year, you know, you kind of assess what kind of players you have and what your talent level is. And then um, and you kind of keep track of what's going on in the conference and, you know, who you're, who your competitors have and and what have you and there's really not any secrets and uh, but um, you know we knew we would be good we knew we had a, a lot of pieces um, you know to uh, um, each and every night to go out and you know and and be successful we went to a scrimmage early in Dallas uh, which is probably some of the best you know I don't know there's 80 schools there and it, and, and probably the best ones in the country uh, come in with the exception of maybe two or three and uh, uh, when we left there, I thought, you know, we're good enough, you know, to, to win every game we play. And um, that, that doesn't mean that we're going to win every game we play. But, I mean, it, it's like, you know, we're, if we play good, we, we have a chance to win each and every time we play. And, you know, there's, there's, there's a handful of teams around the country that can do that. And we're, I mean, we're by no means the only one. Because uh, there's a team in Florida that's good enough. There's a team in Idaho. Uh, uh, there's uh, another team in, within our own region. Uh, you know, that's good enough to do the same thing. But we've just been fortunate along the way. So uh, we'll see what happens from here on. Uh, we're we're at a pretty good place right now. Um, I think uh, uh, we're we're hopefully we're getting ready to gel for the you know for the final lap. So we'll we'll see what happens. Looking at this basketball team, you brought back a lot of guys that mm -hmm. were good athletes, and we've talked about them a lot. And as a coaching staff, you guys did such a good job of plugging in additional players. We can talk about Marshall Anderson and Devontae Smith and Yannick Marrera, and the list goes on and on and on of the way you were able to just plug and play people. And it seems to me like it's it's gone fairly smooth. You don't see anything, at least from my vantage point, right. that says, boy, I was a starter last year and now I'm not. It just seemed like it went, It was a pretty smooth transition bringing this group in. Well, I, yeah, I think so, and and they've, you know, I, it has to be frustrating to, uh, you know, some of the guys who played a lot of minutes last year, but, but then, you know, when they look up and they say, well, you know, we don't have, we don't have much of a, uh, an argument, you know, on our side because we haven't lost yet, you know, and and a lot of them have have really done a lot of things to help us win some games as well, and. Uh, by no means do we have two different teams here. We don't have last year's group and this year's group. Uh, uh, I mean, it's, they, they've blended together and they've supported each other. And, and, and we just added a couple of pieces that, you know, we were missing a point guard last year. And, and, and Deshaun, bless his heart, did everything he possibly could to try to play a position that really was not his true position. And, uh, and we were, uh, hey, we won 17 games with, with basically without a floor leader, you know, somebody trying to do something that's not, you know, not his natural uh, uh, job. So, uh, you know, he's to be commended for that. Uh, Greg Ganey last year had to play the five, and I can't, I can't think of a game that he ever got to look down on anybody that he played against last year. It was always looking straight into somebody's numbers and upward. So, uh, you know, and, and I think it really helped him. Uh, this year we've had a couple of uh, other guys that are considerably bigger than him, so he can go play the four now, you know, and, and uh, Stanton, uh, has has been able to play the four as well. So, you know, uh, the guys that uh, that were on last year's team that are having more success this year can thank some of the new pieces that came in and has allowed them to get back to their natural position. Stanton Kidd, I think, may be as evident as anybody by this. He's been in the starting lineup pretty much the whole season, mm -hmm. and he is in that four spot. He's devastating. The guy can shoot. He can run, he can jump, he can rebound. He just does a lot of things well. And you take that five spot out of him, you know, and, and get him back into a natural position, he's really flourished. Well, there's a world of difference between playing, facing the basket and playing with your back to the basket. And uh, Stanton has always been a guy that needed to face up. He's, he's, he's a skillful player that, you know, pass and shoot. And, you know, when you throw a guy down there at the block and just tell him you just want him to play inside, you kind of limit some of the things that maybe he, he can do. And that's not his strength, uh, you know, to, to go back down there. Now, on occasion this year, because of the experience that he had last year, he's been able to go down and score some. But once again, it has more to do with the fact that who he's playing against is somebody his own size as opposed to their uh, starting five man. 
Let's talk about Jamel Murphy really quick. You know, we talk a lot about Devontae Smith out at the point mm -hmm. guard because it was a spot you're short, and Yannick Marrera underneath it was a spot you were short. Jamel Murphy is really watching yeah. him through the back half of the season. This kid is good off the dribble, and he really creates, it seems to me, people a lot of problems with his presence off the, off the offside wing and the ability to cut to the basket. Uh, uh, Ty Mail is, you know, it's like I said, he, he, he's a natural. He was a four that, that's because of our personnel and our roster has been asked to play a three. So the mismatch has been in his favor when the ball gets up on the glass. He's used to going and rebounding. And, uh, boy, that's a great talent to have. It's, you know, I, I, I say rebounding is a skill. So, I mean, there are some people that, that can be taught to do it. There's some people that just do it naturally. And, and he's a guy that just goes and gets rebounds. And he's extremely fast. And you wouldn't think it about just kind of watching him play, but that first step to the basket is just fat. It's, it's like a blur. And he finishes really, really strong. So, I mean, he's added another dimension. You know, we, we've, we've had good shooters. And, uh, and then here's a guy that uh, at that one position that, that uh, can drive the ball and get there quick. And it seems to me as the year's gone along, and, and you're able to play a lot of different styles of basketball, but it seems to me the tempo has been picking up for this basketball mm -hmm. team, at least from the defensive rebound down the floor, getting that offense going. And we saw it, I think, especially in the last three or four games. You really moved the basketball up the floor quickly. It seemed like no matter who's out at the point at, the, at that time. Well, um, you know, I'm, this, this team is, uh, you know, is a little bit different than some teams. I mean, some teams you want to manage shots. And, uh, and, some t and sometimes, you, you know, because of the personnel you have, you don't want to put up as many shots. You don't, you don't want as many possessions in a game. But with a team like ours, we, you know, the more the merrier. I mean, I, I wish we, I wish we could get up, you know, I don't know, a hundred shots a game. You know, I, we would like for a team to play extremely fast with us because we, you know, when you have guys like Marshall that that can really shoot and Ty Mill that can really drive and and uh, Yannick who can score around the basket, and then you throw Stanton out there who, you know, who who kind of, uh, you know, can can do things from both the high post and and the low post. You want to get up as many uh, offensive opportunities as you possibly can, and so we have really really been sh uh, stressing get go 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 go. Let's get let's get down the floor. Let's get down the floor, and and uh, instead of playing on our heels and cautiously, so. It's worked to this point. You know, you get in a regional tournament, you, there's so many other variables. I mean, teams, you know, in order for us to, you know, to win this thing, we're going to have to play a couple of teams that we've probably already played twice. And so, you know, I think we spoke about it last week. Um, and the, these people aren't asleep at the switch now, and, and, and I'm sure they've sat and broke down tape and, and things of that sort, and this kid likes to do this and this one likes to do that, and then the, and then there's the tempo discussion. Do we want to go up and down? Do we, you know? So we've got we've got to be ready for a lot of different things. Looking at this point guard spot, we talked about Devonte Smith, but we've seen Corey Spence a hmm. lot against uh, New Mexico military. We've we've seen him, I think, really progress. Watching him in practice very early, he really looked like he had a good command of things over at Roswell the other night. Well, I thought he did. I thought he did pretty well. You know, he was forced into a starting position, and and um, I, I, and I thought he represented himself pretty well. Uh, um, you know, a couple of couple of turnovers that we're not used to having, but but uh, you know, he got two or three nice assists, and and um, you know, when he's aggressive and pushing the ball, uh, Corey's a good little player. Um, and uh, it allowed us to move uh, uh, Terrence Durham off to kind of a two a little bit. And Terrence is not a – he's not a – he doesn't go hunting shots. And so when Terrence is in the game, you know, we kind of share the ball a little bit more and, and uh, different guys get some stuff. So, um, you know, I think we're going into the thing, you know, with uh, – uh, you know, at, at full strength. And, you know, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm sure other people feel like uh, – uh, they're coming in, uh, you know, at full strength as well. So I guess that's why we play the game, see what happens. Let's talk about Temple. What are some of your concerns with this basketball team coming in now that you've had a chance to scout and, and get lined up for Temple? Well, they're, they're an aggressive team uh, offensively. They don't they don't waste much time. They, they get the ball down the floor. They run a couple of really, really easy, simple, aggressive sets. I mean, they throw the ball right to the block, and then and the guy just turns and tries to score. And... You know, and you always you always worry about foul trouble. Uh, you know, trying to block a shot that maybe you were out of position, things like that. So if you're not real sharp, um, um, you know, they can they they can make you look bad at, at times. So um, I think that um, uh, you know they're they're accustomed to being in the regional tournament, uh, just like we are. So I don't think they're going to be 
all hyped or nervous or, or anything like that. And I think, um, you know, they're driving about six or seven hours out here, and I don't think they're coming out here just to get our autographs. I think they're coming out here to beat us. So, um, you know, we can, expect, we can expect a great effort from them, I think. How big, how big is that advantage, driving the 20 minutes to Lubbock as opposed to mm -hmm. having to drive the six if you're on the north side? Or, and frankly, even if, even if you're a team from two hours away, is there an advantage to that being 20 minutes away? I don't think you can answer that question until afterwards. I think you can look back and say, well, that was a great advantage we had. <laughs> You know, the year we won a national tournament, we had to go to Belton to do it. And I think, man, that was great. We, you know, we got to go down and rest and get ready and what have you. Or, you know, last year we got beat in the first round. It's like, boy, what a disadvantage to only drive 20 minutes to play. You know, so who knows? I, I, I choose not to even think about those things. I, I, I think that's, that's something for people that uh, need to fill up copy, to be, uh, to be honest the with you. The spread makers, maybe that's who yeah, you don't pass know. it off yeah, to. We, we, we don't have any of those at our level, though. There you go. Full strength going into this ball yeah. game. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't, and it hasn't seemed to me like anybody's been spared too many minutes due to injury, so it looks like you're pretty healthy. We've been uh, uh, pretty lucky so far, knock on wood, that uh, we've, we've not had, uh, you know, any injuries that would, that, uh, uh, that cause this, you know, any, any extreme hardships for this basketball team. All right, Coach. Same's out of time. Final thoughts for us before we get ready to hook it up in the, well, in the regional. It's, it, I think it's going to be very competitive. I think there's a lot of good teams that are going to be in a thing. And uh, uh, it is uh, – it, it could be viewed as a home court for us because obviously we're 25 miles away. I think, you know, to go back to your question, I guess the, the advantage is you'll have uh, probably more people there than anybody else. But uh, the goals are 10 feet high and the floor is the same – you know, and all that you've heard, you've heard it all before. So you have to go play the games, and hopefully, we'll have a lot of people over there that will walk away happy. All right, coach. Appreciate your time as always. Best of luck to yourself and the Texans.